second. So, they don't have negative opinions. No, all right. I'll be. I'll Lang, be honest. Take with her you. to the secret room. I'm gonna. I I'm think they just accepted Sean. that I. I love coming and working, basically. Yeah. Sorry, <gasps> sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go in the basement. I don't think it's like a negative. Okay, okay. Listen, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna meet. Wait, what? Wait, is it? Whoa! How do I get in there? Oh, I'm stupid. You got to flex your e muscle. Sorry, go back to the entrance. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Damn, and I followed you. Oh. Your phone's muted, Harry. Uh, loads of problems sharing. Yo, uh, Link. Make sure your phones are muted. Muted phones. New muted phones, phones, new phones. Double, triple check. Okay, it's muted. Cassie, climb over this arcade machine. What? Yeah, secret room, secret room. If you ever have a conversation, what you like, guys this do? Is... Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right, everyone. Everyone, you know, like sit or lay or. Please make sure your phones are muted. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm gonna. I'm so jealous of that fucking suit thing. Uh, you're, you're the only one with star. Sucker. Actually, I'm the only one with star. Hey, I got something after this. Jesus, Cassie. Jeez. What? What do you got? What I do you got? First. Leslie? We're all ready. Wait, actually, I don't know where Harry is. Where's Harry? Someone see Harry? No. Okay, we're good. we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I got the list, by the way. All right, no speaking, guys. We're live. By Huckleberry friend. What does my Huckleberry friend mean, Shat? A friend made of berries? Gotcha. Can't hear him. Hazards. No, but I mean, it right. does hurt. It does hurt. Yeah, fair enough. It hurts. Me, I mean, I've always um, seen you as somebody that runs the restaurant based on passion, not really profit. It's always of been kind of like. Of course, of course. The, the money was just a, you know. A side uh, benefit, you know. It's, it's like mm -hmm. the money was yeah. like a, a friends with benefits situation. It was nice, mm -hmm. but it wasn't mm -hmm. everything. Fair enough. 
I mean, yeah, so, I mean, you, you've done that stuff for a long time. We're, so we're trying to, you know, make do with the comedy club now. We've got that. We're bringing all the, our family over there, and we're, we're adjusting. But again, it, we had a certain lifestyle we became adjusted to at Burger Shot because we were doing okay. Uh -huh. Now, now we we're we're having to start over essentially. So okay, so nothing. All of a sudden, obviously we we've, we've we've tried to kind of go back and forth a little bit because at the end of the day, it would be easy for us if 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 you kept running the restaurant and everything would go you know as it as it should essentially. Uh, I'm a man that believes that life has things planned for all of us, and I think. Uh, life's plan for you was to run this restaurant to your best ability and i'm sure running something that somebody else owns at times can feel very ungrateful uh, and... our salaries well, oh, I have... well it's not it's not only that but if you're a person that runs something out of passion but there's somebody else telling you what to do or you need to answer to somebody else it's never going to feel like you're wrong now is it exactly. Well, exactly and when and when it was brought up the you know the franchising issue mm -hmm. and and the uh, of course, my main issue was, you know, the money going towards Lang, who has done nothing but harass us and right. and shoot up the place and even murdered one of our employees. I just, <laughs> of course, I'm not happy about that. Yeah, obviously, you want to run your business with a clean conscience and working exactly. for somebody that harasses you. Yeah, I'm sure that that's horrible. You know, I consider Dean and Cassie, you know, they're family, but Lang, hmm, not so much. Yeah, no, that's understandable. That's understandable. I would probably feel the same way. I get that. So, um, we tried to go back and forth a little bit. I gave the initial offer, and obviously, I wanted to see if it was something that you guys could pay. I realized it was a lot of money. I think I said fifteen million or something like that. Yeah, yeah. fifteen million. Uh, we, there's just the uh, I asked uh, about a state loan, and I was told the maximum that we could take would be about a million dollars. So we would all have to be taking that out, and I just wouldn't want to bury my entire family with debt. So all right, no, I. I Worst person to be owed to is the government, after all. No. Uh, fair enough. So, I took a look at the books uh, for the business. Just, I usually try to overlook the, the books that we, uh, the businesses that we're involved in. And, I mean, first of all, I think Very Shot is phenomenally rare. Uh, the, the revenue stream is, is, is very impressive, especially for a fast food joint and knowing how much you have to compete with other businesses in the city. Um... I know that you do things your own way, but I respect that. I do things my own way as well. And sometimes things pan out the way you want them to be. Sometimes they don't. Uh, but if you're following your true passion, then that's always something to be commended by. So I commend you for that. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, we so never good. really did things based on profits. We just always made sure we all had fun and... A family all... atmosphere. Oh. Exactly. Our and customers. Were our and of course, customers. Of course, we wanted, we wanted the profits. You know that that's Just the whole reason. Yeah. That's the whole reason you run a business, of course, of course is to make yeah. a living. But not if that got in the way of us having fun and mm -hmm. you know doing the things we we love Your doing. Family, you want to evolve. You want to exactly. do fun and stuff then, with each other. And you know, I reached out to Cassie, of course, because I was like, "Hey, can you give us some help with the business side of things?" And a lot of it was very helpful, but some of it was definitely going against the way I had things running pre previously, like, like keeping things more family oriented. And, mm -hmm. you know, she kind of had that whole, it's a business. You can't run things like a family. So, but that's it, stupid because that's just not true. I mean, you, you can definitely do both things at once. Well, again, so that just kind of, that's where everything kind of started going downhill was when it really got shook up there because we were trying to be more professional, more business oriented. And I think that's when we really started, you know, getting that wedge between the workers and mm -hmm. Cerberus itself. And management, yeah, it just management. a whole lot of problems. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I mean, in some aspects, businesses can be good if they're not emotionally driven. But the way you run your, your business is more of a passion project. So I don't understand why you wouldn't involve emotions. I mean... Oh, running a business like this for pure profit that's madness that's honestly just stupid we still did pretty good i mean we were making pretty good money oh like i said i mean i looked course, at the i, I looked want, at the numbers of course, of course we want we want to you know keep keep the the profits up i mean that's always something 
yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean, management would go out of their way to, you know, try and make Burger Shop more profitable. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. we all care. We in, in the at the end of the day, we all cared about Burger Shop. And we all wanted it to profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that that's why I think it's interesting because I I think you guys have ran this as a passion project, but you've still made good money, and that's that's impressive. It's impressive. It is. Um, so I haven't really met or spoken with. Uh, Lang or Dean about this much since we met last time because our schedules don't really align. Uh, usually I meet them around these times, but I think they're in jail right now, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, yeah. But I was thinking uh, this franchising is honestly a bit of a headache for us at the end of the day. And personally, I would like you seeing running the business and personally, uh, I think it would be better if we could somehow sell the property to you indefinitely and we wouldn't have to put our, our, our finger in the pie and stir it for you, right? Uh, and I think there was talks about offering, I, don't, I can't remember if it was, because uh, there was an interest of, of one of your properties. Did, did they come to you with that? Because we only spoke about giving you the offer, but I don't know if they actually gave you the offer. Yeah, Dean and Cassie came forth with the offer for the comedy club and $250,000. 250000 Forever, and I was like, no, a, a week, a month, no, a oh, month, a, a month. Okay, a that's month. still ridiculous month. money. Yeah, no, that's... I, my thought process is, I would rather keep the comedy club where we can sort of readjust and we can build that place up. Try and to find a spot, yeah. We don't have to. We don't have to be indebted to someone and have that stress of okay, we gotta pay, make a payment this month. I fucking hate asset fees. I yeah. hate having to worry oh, about, too, okay, yeah. I got to make X amount of money to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm not going to lose this. To live this. my life, yeah. Fuck that. I would yeah. by far rather no. just run something and not, you know, if it doesn't make a dollar, I don't, you know, who cares? We're not worried about paying anyone anything. Fair enough. So, exactly. you know, we ran an so, event the other night and it was just something that we threw together last second. We made 20 grand. So, I mean, it's not impossible for us to just do continue doing what we're doing and mm-hmm. restart over there so okay. th- that's sort of my thought process i get just, it just out of curiosity what's your interest in, what's what's Cerberus interest in the comedy club uh we want to we want to build a place essentially i guess what you guys are doing to run events and uh we have a pretty competent event crew uh and we just wanted a place at the city where people can show off their talent and do we could do talent shows and uh Maybe, I don't know, record some shows and stuff like that. It's, it's just it's just a place for the people to express themselves. But I, I guess that's similar to what you guys are already doing. No, uh, no. Obviously, there's there's possibility for us to do it at other venues. But uh, we already have have, uh, have business in Vinewood. So, uh, you know, it's just something we wanted to do for the people, essentially. Um, okay. yeah, but, it's, a, it's a great little location. And there is a lot of potential there. Sure, yeah. And I agree. my thought process is even if we can get a little bar in the back... Uh, where we can actually just mix our own drinks and make some little bar snacks. I, I don't see why we couldn't bring our passion that we had at Burger Shot over to the comedy club. Mm-hmm. I mean, but but that's the problem with construction, right? Not only does it cost money, but you need to go through the right channels. You need to get it approved. It takes a lot of time. Right. Um, yeah, that's true. The, the, I mean, the, and and I, I don't think you're wrong. By the way, I think you're absolutely correct in what you're saying. It's just that Burger Shot is a finished piece. You, right, you can right. kind of mold and work with. So. The reason I was asking you, so to begin with, two hundred fifty thousand dollars is way too much. Looking at the numbers that you guys project, generally, yeah, there's no way, there's no yeah. way Burger Shots is going to make that much of a book. So I was thinking, if we could maybe, um, hmm, what if, would it be of interest for you if we, if we, got the uh, comedy club location, you guys get the Burger Shop main location, and you do whatever you want with it. You get ownership of it, of, of of the business. You get ownership of the Burger Shop brand. You can you can do whatever you want with the branding. And we say, is $150,000 reasonable? Is that too much? A month? Yeah, mm, again, I mean, I'm, I'm not interested in a monthly uh, payment. Uh, again, I would prefer to just not have to worry. Okay, can, what, what, what would you... Uh, yeah, I just have one question. What I would mean, you with, prefer with the comedy, in, in Again, of... with the comedy club, I don't have to worry about paying anyone rent. I don't have to pay anyone. It's mine. I own it. It's my, okay. it's my place. I don't, I don't want the stress of having to pay someone fees for anything. Okay. Would you be, 
would you be more comfortable with paying a one-time payment and then not having having to keep keep that in mind? Um, I would con- yeah, I would consider that. Okay. Well, but not, not if it, I was going like, to say, though. not if it's an, a, you know, an absurd amount. Well, it wouldn't have to be because we're, we're also trading a property and I'm sure, I'm sure the comedy club is worth quite a lot of money. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, look, it's a massive piece of land. I mean, it's on a really it's, good. It's on Vinewood Boulevard. On Vinewood. How much, how much would you, I don't really it's... know that much about property. So how much would you guys estimate that that thing is worth? I would have to go get it appraised. I have no idea. Yeah. It's, okay. it's, I mean, it's at a great location you know oh, like 10 million like 15 maybe uh, maybe something like i i, I, I really don't know. know wouldn't even know yeah i'd just be pulling a number out of my out of my ass if i if i said anything honestly but yeah i again i love your shot i'm heartbroken that it gosh ellie Right over with Shelly. I mean, I think there's potential there, but I do think it's very low. I do think we're gonna have to eat the L on the uh, on the comedy club. Just, that's just my personal opinion, though. Maybe Leslie pulls something out of his ass. Chat, we're still live, right? Are we good? Hello. Moan for me, Daddy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You use your own mouse pad, dude. These these fucking guys never sent me my mouse pads, and now they're a shit business and uh, selling everything. So, anybody who actually got my mouse pad, guys, you got a rare, rare yeah. mouse pad. It's gonna be worth at least five million dollars one day. I would love to have that pet mouse pad, though, man. I love that mouse pad. I actually adore the way that mouse the mouse pads look. Fucking joking? No. Like, like I said, guys, there was there was a reason why I didn't re-sign with them. Obviously, I wasn't gonna make it public because you know business is business. But um, so wait, where's the uh, money? But it was a, the smart choice because then this shit should happen with them. I think so. Oh, okay. I don't know. Anyways, okay. um, so okay, let's start off where we left off. So, uh, as I understand it, you don't want to be in debt. So here's the thing. How can, because obviously this property is worth a lot of money, but also is very shot at all. Yeah, of course. They're both. Uh... On, give me, I'm very sorry about this. Yes. It's all two for 2K. 
Yeah. No, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, I'll meet you uh, tomorrow. Right here, Jared. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just... All right. Bye bye. All right. So, uh, I, I guess I'll give the you mine here for is a that price. you don't want to owe every anybody money. However, the property I, I would think is is quite expensive. But Burger Shot is already saying that. Chat. To be fair, has, the PC they sent me is my all time favorite want. PC I've ever had. Yeah, I yeah, literally right. regret not bringing but it to LA. Again, I'm hoping. Like I said, I don't think it design. would be impossible I love Cyberpower, to get though. a I love little the PC they gave me. I bar that, but yeah. and like a little kitchen in the back. And again, I feel like uh, we could potentially do everything we were doing at Burger Shot at the Comedy Club. So I do see a lot of potential there. Okay, that's, fair enough. That's I mean, you, that's you, might, you might be right. Uh, it's, 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 I would say it's just as likely that you're right that, that you're wrong in this circumstance. It, unfortunately, you know you know how things can be sometimes. Well, of course. It's a gamble. Like, it's like a gamble, anything. yeah, right. Um, so is there any other offer you would be interested in if because if I if I if I give you an offer of us Okay, well this I just want to tell you right now. I'm awful at negotiating. So yeah, let's, let's um, have a If you if you throw if you throw me an offer, I'm gonna have to think about it. Okay. Oh, no, I, I get that I never make decisions at the same meeting anyways. Okay. So I understand that I guess so I have two two offers then Okay, one of the offers would be we swap the location. Well, we get the comedy club. You get the burger shot as it is. Plus, you own the brand and all that that entails. Okay. Uh, at a one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollar. Sorry. Yeah, one hundred and fifty k per month. And and before you stop me and say, oh, I don't want to be in debt. I get that because the other offer would be, mm, let's say. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you do, right now. I don't want to deal with the monthly thing. No, no, but I get that. But but hear me out. The other offer would be a high sum. Uh, uh, let me flip the script. You pay me one hundred fifty thousand a month for the swap. But your business is not worth this more. Yeah, money well, we're gonna build it up. Give me time to build it up. Like I said, we did <laughs> one. Let's, let's, we let's, did let's... one event yesterday. Just spur of the moment, we made over twenty thousand dollars last minute. Right, Charlie, let's just hear the second offer before we... Okay, yeah, yeah. We, okay. We so the other offer entails a lump sum instead of monthly payments. However, since you don't have that money, I assume you're going to have to loan that money elsewhere anyway. Well, it depends how much it is. Yeah, it depends on how much it is. Um, and, of course, you know, my offer, counter offer, would be perhaps an exchange of our two establishments with no money involved. But that's not something that... I even know for sure that I want to do. Uh, we could probably because part ways with it for three million dollars lump sum. Mm. <clears throat> but like I said, you don't have to agree with it right now. But Sorry, that's that's Sorry, an offer I could give. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go have a sidebar. Feel free. Okay. Yeah. What a sidebar. Mm hmm. Dude, my ACDC is driving me crazy right now. I need to move. Remember the RPG incident? <laughs> Shut up. All right, we're, we're going to think about it, okay? Okay, yeah, keep it Again, mind. again, uh, my, my counter offer, of course, would be uh, that we just swap businesses and locations. No, no, no other, you know, uh, some right. necessary, but, you know. Yeah, think about the offer and get back to me. Okay. All right, have a good rest of your day. All right. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, talking to me. Yeah, of course. I appreciate yeah, of course. it. Very civil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. It, it was right, nice, it was nice meeting, meeting you, too. Mr. Leslie. 
No problem. No. All you right. Meet you as well. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. Bye. Incompetent, disgusting people. <laughs> they don't deserve to even live. Or you can come out. <laughs> yeah, told you. Uh, I think she's gonna decline it, but she might not. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're mm. fucked. I mean, there's no way we're doing a straight swap. She's delusional. No way. Yeah, I know. We I mean, I'm her. willing to take the L on that if I'm being honest. Well, it's, it's, it's not so really an L. She's money. the one that takes the L. It's like, oh, wait. Oh, you mean the straight that? swap? No, no, absolutely yeah. not. No, no, no. That's just so much money. Consider it's this, not. right? Burger Shop makes a lot of money, but Shelly was taking like, most of it for her own salary. So yeah. if we actually put someone in there that's not doing that, we're going to be making bank. What's know? up, Leslie? The reason I said $3 million. Leslie, we're going to start fucking playing Valorant, man. Year, she would end up paying us 250000 monthly anyways. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, if we've got a lump sum, sure. I, I, she said the state would only give her a million dollars. I don't think she she can't talk to anyone. She has no idea what she's asking. For. So the thing is, I'm I'm happy she brought I mean, along her friend because man. her friend her friend might push her. Because I mean, yeah, while she is incompetent, like well, yeah, while she's incompetent, her friend might tell the other Burger Shot employees, and they might push her to take this offer. You could also go that. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, to, okay, so the thing is with Shelly, I mean, you guys can tell she's doing this out of spite, not because she really gives a fuck about that comedy club, right? She said it's her baby. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's not No, her baby. it's not her baby. Her baby is fucking us over. That's her baby. And she knows she's doing that. Yeah, I mean, uh, if she comes back and she says no, all right, then I'm just going to say go fuck yourself. Uh, you're never going to get an offer again, and she definitely won't, so. She's going to say no. Yeah, yeah I no, she's 100% going to say no, yeah. But, but I think there is, there, there's a chance that she won't say no, and that chance exists in her friend being here. Because Yeah, I agree. That person might tell the other employees, and they might push her to do this. I agree. Uh, so what do you see? I mean, I think it's the best we could do with what we have. Uh, Harry's downstairs waiting, I believe. Okay. All right, um, Guys, so I might be bronze, but I played now. one game the other night and dropped After a this, fucking 28 thing, bomb in a W, all right? I have natural talent. Oh, my God. Not this bright shit again. Please, please, get me out of here. Oh. Get me out of here. Can I get out of here? That was fucking bright. Yeah. Jeez. Hey, pull the ass out, Dean. I have a car. All right, pull out any car. Uh, oh, this is over here. Once. I cannot believe she said it was my fault. Yeah, that's what happens, Cassie. When you let people use you, ah, uh, fuck it. This thing is fucked. Nice. This thing is fucked. This thing is fucked. Oh. I think I have the pole star here, though. I think Dean's got his ass in here. Oh. This thing is fucked, Dean. Pole star isn't here either. Not believe her. Yeah, yeah, she said that about you, can't she? She thought you weren't listening, but you were. Honestly, I mentored her for like a month and a half when she was crying and the worst she could possibly be. Oh, it's Casey, Bob. Lastly, like, Casey, she told me how to be a business person if I care about the what people say behind your back when they think you're not listening, Casey. It's horrible, right? Yep. Welcome to our world, Casey. All the time. Well, people hey. talk shit about your back all the time. Well, not yours specifically, but everybody does about everybody. I'm sure your best like, friends would talk shit about you as well if we did that. Oh my god. That's how people are. Damn. That's why you need a real relationship with people, because if I want to talk shit about Lang or Dean, I would do it in front of their face. We do all the time. Get in. Yeah. Alright, we're getting Harry Donalds. I want to make her eat sand. Seriously? Yeah, what do you mean? No, I just did fine. Oh. Alright, we made billboard guy? And we're getting Harry from Autos. Okay, that's... Are we made billboard guy? Yes. Yep. Alright. 
He said How? he needed 30, 40, be f like right when we were leaving. So I'll, I'll uh, email him really quick and double check. I can't believe how dumb Shelly is. The fact that she she doesn't know me to the point where I, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 